The Kremlin saying today Ukrainian forces bombed an oil depot, depot in Russia. Now, if true, this would be Ukraine's first attack on Russia since the start of this war. News Nation correspondent Robert Sherman joins us now. So, Robert, what could this mean for the progression of the war at this point? Well, Nicole, as Russian and Ukrainian officials met for a new round of talks, the Kremlin says an attack on a Russian fuel depot could undermine those negotiations. This security camera video obtained by Reuters shows a flash of light in the sky near a fuel depot in Belgorod. That's about 22 miles from the border with Ukraine. A Russian official claims two Ukrainian helicopters struck the facility. If confirmed, this would be Ukraine's first air attack on Russian territory since the war began. So far, Ukrainian officials have not commented on the allegations. Elsewhere, Putin's forces have been withdrawing from Chernobyl in northern Ukraine. Amid reports, some soldiers were exposed to significant levels of radiation while digging trenches. The head of the United Nations nuclear watchdog saying he cannot confirm those reports, adding that he plans to lead a mission to Chernobyl as soon as possible. We need to uh, have secure routes. We need to have protection. We need to have uh, zones that are deconflicted. In the southern city of Mariupol, the Red Cross has been unable to carry out an operation to bring civilians out of the besieged city by bus saying a team had been on its way, but had to turn back because the Russians were blocking access to the city. Today on News Nation's Morning in America, the deputy Pentagon press secretary says Vladimir Putin could end the war today if he wanted to. He could stop the endless pummeling of hospitals and bread lines and critical civilian infrastructure, the targeting of civilians. He could stop that today. And Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also dismissing two generals today, calling them traitors and saying they violated their military oath of allegiance to the Ukrainian people. One was head of internal security at Ukraine's main intelligence agency. The other had been in a similar role in the Kherson region. Nicole. All right, Robert, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.